Officer, and I thank the Minister for advance sight of her statement. The scheme has been falling apart for months. Even the Finance Secretary says it will cause economic carnage. So now the Scottish Government is trying to pick fight with the UK Government, who have confirmed to me in the past hour no official request for an internal market exemption has been received. This is a desperate attempt to shift blame for a homemade shambles. Small producers are appalled by the scheme rollout and have not registered, which is why the Scottish Government has been forced to consider introducing a grace period. It is too late now to make such fundamental changes to the scheme without creating even more complexity, confusion and costs. And now registration is to remain open, so much for the deadline that effectively forced some producers to sign up, feeling a gun was at their head because they would be unable to trade otherwise. The bottom line is producer registration has been a disaster. The Minister is desperately spinning the sign-up numbers, but the reality is it works out to barely 16 per cent of total number of producers, 664 out of 4,000 operating in Scotland. And no wonder legal advice taken by a number of companies was not to. Why sign a blank cheque to CSL at this point? Simple question. Does the Minister accept that more than 80 percent of producers have not signed up to the scheme. Minister. As of today, producers responsible for more than two billion drinks containers have signed up with Circularity Scotland. And this represents the full range of drinks producers from global brands to, to small craft breweries and distilleries. This means that no, more than 90% of the annual total volume of products are included in the scheme. 90% of what we see on our shelves. This means that the scheme has momentum toward that August 16th launch. As I have said already, but I'm very happy to say again, for producers that have not yet registered, SEPA will continue to work pragmatically with Circularity Scotland and those producers beyond today's date to bring them into compliance, because I want all of those businesses to be able to continue to supply their very excellent products into the Scottish market. I call Colin Smith. Thank you, President Officer. We want to see a viable deposit return scheme, but the statement today still leaves more questions than answers. The Minister says producers representing over 90 per cent of volume have signed up, but big producers were always going to sign up. Can she confirm that less than 20 per cent of the total number of producers in Scotland have actually registered? And for the many thousands who haven't, because they simply don't know what they're signing up for, up until what point will they be able to register to still sell in Scotland. Now, the Minister, having voted down Labour's call last week for a delay for small producers, now says her officials are working at pace to come up with a delay. So when will she be able to tell those producers if and when that delay will happen? Now, finally, the Minister said the Deputy First Minister escalated the call for an opt-out from the Internal Market Bill in January. It was four years ago when the Government first set a date for this scheme. So I hardly think that's escalating. It certainly doesn't show any urgency. But what if that opt-out is not granted by August? What is the plan B, Minister? Minister. Thank you. There were, there were several points in there, and I'll try to address them all. Um, on the small businesses, those who have not yet registered with Circularity Scotland and with SEPA, as I've already said, SEPA will continue to be pragmatic and support those businesses to join the scheme. Now, I know that every business is different, and every business has different concerns and needs those addressed specifically to match their business. And I would encourage every producer who has not yet registered with the scheme to contact Circularity Scotland and SEPA to get the correct advice for their business. So that that they can sign up to the scheme and register and continue to provide their products into the Scottish market from the uh, 16th of August this year. Uh, the member asks about the IMA. I, I will repeat what I've said already. We have sought an exemption since July 2021. This is not new news. It was discussed in November at the interministerial group, at official level meetings, and at a ministerial meeting in January 2023. This is very serious. It was continu continued failure of the UK government to address this that, as I said before, it was escalated to the Deputy First Minister to make sure that we have the decision in time. 
I share the member's frustration. This is a lack of clarity that businesses in Scotland really need. But I must emphasise that even without this lack of clarity, businesses have sufficient confidence in the scheme that they have signed on the dotted line 90% of the volume, which means we have the momentum we need toward that August 16th launch, and that is what we're continue to work towards. Fiona Hislop.